In their numbers, members of the Alor People's Convention, loyal to the suspended traditional ruler Igwe Mac Anthony Okonkwo, troop out onto the streets of the community to reaffirm their support for the suspended monarch and to apologize to Governor Willie Obiano on his behalf. <laughs> They finally gather at the ancestral square of the community where the President General admits that Igwe Mac Anthony and other affected traditional rulers made an error in judgment. He, however, appeals to Governor Obiano to temper justice with mercy. We are against his actions for not officially informing and securing the approval of the governor before traveling out of the state for a function which may either be in favor or against the office of the executive governor, irrespective of that, we sincerely and the humbly tender and unreserved and alloyed apology to that effect. But there's a slight twist to this call for forgiveness. <laughs> In a swift reaction, the President General of Alor People's Assembly, a group calling for the withdrawal of the certificate from the suspended traditional ruler, insists that Alor people do not want him anymore. Alor people have never accepted him for one day as their traditional ruler. This thing that happened a few days ago, going to Abuja to instigate the government, federal government against the state government, has all shown that he's not what that position he's presently occupying. For or against, the Igwe MacAnthony's fate may depend on the weight of the argument from both factions, as he and others on suspension are not allowed to be seen in public, part of a directive that they stop parading themselves as traditional rulers.